Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Rajiv. With increasing number of COVID-19 cases, you may be asked to take care of yourself at home. You may be symptomatic, you may not be symptomatic. You may be waiting for your test results or you already know you're positive. You may have a pulse oximeter, you may not. Either ways, I'll show you how you can use your pulse oximeter for your benefit if you have one. Even if you don't have one, you can still follow these positioning changing exercises to increase the oxygen level in your blood. You may have one of these devices called pulse oximeter and this shows two numbers. So the first number is SpO2. So my oxygen saturation is 97 percent and interestingly my heart rate is 97 as well. So the oxygen saturation normally is somewhere between 97 to 100 in a normal person breathing room air. If your oxygen levels is more than 94 percent so you can continue your normal activities. If your oxygen level is less than 94 and if you are still able to take care of yourself at home, you can do these positioning changing exercises. If you do not have pulse oximeter, no problems, you can still do this and use it for your own benefit. You can do these positioning changes no matter where you are, you may be at your home or in your office, assuming you are in a private office where you can do this or also you may be asked to do this in a hospital. This is not some magical therapy for COVID-19, but this is positioning changes that has been tested in medical journals and has been found to increase oxygen levels in the blood. I will show you some positions that you can use to improve oxygenation. I'm going to show these three basic pillows that I have on the floor. So the first thing is we're going to go prone, like lie on the stomach. So I have a pillow for the head, pillow for the hips and pillow for the legs. Pillow for the hips is important. It has to sit on the hip, not on the chest or the abdomen. If you put it on the chest, it will cause breathing problems. If you put it on the abdomen, then it can cause reduction in blood pressure. Here is how you position yourself. Okay. So the front is for the head. So let's put the head there. Lie down like this. And then you can put your head here with the hand in the front. And the middle pillow stays on the hip. Again, remember, not on the chest or the abdomen, and the third pillow stays on the legs. So you will lie here for 30 minutes to two hours. And if this causes any discomfort, or if you have any pain, then do not use this position. You should be able to see improvement in oxygenation in as little as few minutes with this position. All right, now let's move on to the next position. For the next position, let's move the hip pillow and the leg pillow away. So we will just use the head pillow and lie down on our right side. So, so we will lie down like this for 30 minutes to 2 hours. Again if there are any pain points and if you are not comfortable with this, you can skip this position. The third position is sitting upright or leaning forward. This helps with increasing oxygen levels in the blood and you do this for 30 minutes to 2 hours. Let's move on to next position, which is again lying down. In our next position, we lie with left side down. Earlier, the right side was down. We will spend 30 minutes to 2 hours in this position. Then we will move on to the next position. Now the last position is again going back to prone and lying with face down and stomach down. So you would be doing these positioning changes every 30 minutes to 2 hours during the daytime. In the night time when you are sleeping, well, use any position other than lying down on your back. So you could use the side position or you could use the prone position. The question is when should you avoid using these positions? If you have any pain with these position changes, if you have any problems with your bone, you are pregnant, you had a heavy meal or any other health condition that prevents you from changing positions, do not do these positioning changes. As always, if you are not feeling good. If you are feeling agitated, which means there is less oxygen in the blood and then in the brain and any other problems, it's time to see your doctor. Uh, please do share and comment if you have any questions. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.